The economic impact of undocumented immigrants in the United States is challenging to measure, and politically contentious. Research shows that undocumented immigrants increase the size of the U.S. economy, contribute to economic growth, enhance the welfare of natives, contribute more in tax revenue than they collect, reduce American firms' incentives to offshore jobs and import foreign-produced goods, and benefit consumers by reducing the prices of goods and services economists estimate that legalization of the undocumented immigrant population would increase the immigrants' earnings and consumption considerably, and increase U.S. gross domestic product. Undocumented Immigrant Population According to the Pew Research Center, there were 11.3 million illegal immigrants living in the United States in 2016, statistically unchanged from the previous year. The number peaked at 12.2 million in 2007, following a steady increase that began in 1990. An estimated 5.6 million unauthorized immigrants were from Mexico in 2015 and 2016, down from 6.4 million in 2009. Non-Mexicans numbered 5.7 million, indicating Mexicans are no longer the clear majority of unauthorized immigrants. The U.S. civilian workforce includes 8 million unauthorized immigrants, accounting for 5% of those working or looking for work in 2014. This number has been relatively stable since 2007, ranging between 8.0 and 8.3 million. Unauthorized immigrants represent 26% of farming and 15% of construction labor. They are primarily concentrated in six states, California, New Mexico, Texas, Florida, New York, New Jersey, and Illinois. About two-thirds have been in the U.S. for more than a decade. The reduction has been driven mainly by a decrease in the number of new immigrants from Mexico, the single largest source. Net immigration from Mexico to the U.S. has stopped and possibly reversed since 2010. At its peak in 2000, about 770,000 immigrants arrived annually from Mexico, the majority arrived illegally. By 2010, the inflow had dropped to about 140,000, a majority of whom arrived as legal immigrants. At its peak in August 2007, the number of undocumented immigrants in the U.S. was 12.5 million. This decreased by 1.3 million to 11.2 million by July 2008, 11%, due to either increased law enforcement or fewer job opportunities. Based on the Department of Homeland Security estimates in 2009, Unauthorized immigrant population living in the United States decreased to 10.8 million in January 2009. On the whole, between 2000 and 2009, the unauthorized immigrant population grew by 27 percent. Immigrants to the U.S. are concentrated at both the high and low income ends of the U.S. labor market, determined largely by their educational attainment. In 2004, at the low end, half of workers aged 25 and older who lacked a diploma were from Mexico and Central America. These workers were employed in jobs that required little formal education, such as construction labor and dishwashing, and on average they earned much less than did the average native worker. Economic Impact of Illegal Immigrants Consumer Demand An employer may benefit from the undocumented status of a migrant who is desperate for work and therefore prepared to accept poor pay that is below local norms. If paid under the table rather than using an ITIN, the employer will have an advantage of various non-wage benefits like saving the bonus and overtime payment including the advantage of paying the undocumented worker at the minimum rate. Nearly every dollar earned by undocumented immigrants is spent immediately, and the average wage for U.S. citizens is $10.25 per hour with an average of 34 hours per week. This means that approximately 8 million U.S. jobs are dependent upon economic activity produced by undocumented immigrant activities within the U.S. The U.S. government continues to stop immigration from Mexico even though it has done harm on wages in a number of industries. Immigrants have helped the U.S. tremendously and have created jobs for Americans and immigrants. Studies have shown that they contributed $2 trillion to the U.S. GDP in 2016 and have contributed $458.7 billion to federal taxes. Budgetary Impact a 2007 review of the academic literature by the Nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office CBO, found that, over the past two decades, most efforts to estimate the fiscal impact of immigration in the United States have concluded that, in aggregate and over the long term, tax revenues of all types generated by immigrants, both legal and unauthorized, exceed the cost of the services they use. While the overall fiscal impact on the U.S. is beneficial, Unauthorized immigrants have an adverse impact on the budgets of state and local governments. While cautioning that the reports are not a suitable basis for developing an aggregate national effect across all 
The tax revenues that unauthorized immigrants generate for state and local governments do not offset the total cost of services provided to those immigrants, and states. They concluded that federal aid programs offer resources to state and local governments that provide services to unauthorized immigrants, but those funds do not fully cover the costs incurred by those governments. IRS estimates that about 6 million unauthorized immigrants file individual income tax returns each year. Research reviewed by the Nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office indicates that between 50% and 75% of unauthorized immigrants pay federal, state, and local taxes. Illegal immigrants are estimated to pay in about $7 billion per year into Social Security. In addition, they spend billions of dollars per year, which supports the U.S. economy and helps to create new jobs. The Texas State Controller reported in 2006 that the 1.4 million unauthorized immigrants in Texas added almost $18 billion to the gross state product, and contributed $1.58 billion in state revenue, while costing the state about $1.16 billion in services used. The Social Security and Medicare contributions of illegal immigrants directly support older Americans, as illegal immigrants are not eligible to receive these services, although their children born in the United States are eligible for such benefits. Illegal immigrants pay Social Security payroll taxes but are not eligible for benefits. During 2006, Standard & Poor's analysts wrote, each year, for example, the U.S. Social Security Administration maintains roughly $6 billion to $7 billion of Social Security contributions in an earnings suspense file, an account for W-2 tax forms that cannot be matched to the correct Social Security number. The vast majority of these numbers are attributable to undocumented workers who will never claim their benefits. For 2010, the Social Security Administration estimated that unauthorized immigrants and their employers paid $13 billion in required Social Security payroll taxes. The Social Security Administration has stated that it believes unauthorized work by non-citizens is a major cause of wage items being posted as erroneous wage reports instead of on an individual's earnings record. When Social Security numbers are already in use, names do not match the numbers or the numbers are fake, or the person of record is too old, young, dead etc. The earnings reported to the Social Security Agency are put in an earnings suspense file. The Social Security spends about $100 million a year and corrects all but about 2% of these. From tax years 1937 through 2003 the ESF had accumulated about 255 million mismatched wage reports, representing $520 billion in wages and about $75 billion in employment taxes paid into the over $1.5 trillion in the Social Security Trust Funds. As of October 2005, approximately 8.8 .8 million wage reports, representing $57.8 billion in wages remained unresolved in the suspense file for tax year 2003. Estimates indicate that about 4% of the school-age population is made up of children who are illegal immigrants. Many require remedial assistance in language skills, which increases costs to the public schools. During April 2006, Standard & Poor's analysts wrote, local school districts are estimated to educate 1.8 million undocumented children. At an average annual cost of $7,500, averages vary by jurisdiction. Per student, the cost of providing education to these children is about $11.2 billion. Other estimates of the costs to educate unauthorized children and U.S.-born children of unauthorized immigrants reached $30 billion in 2009.